even Bradley himself is shocked. I'm shocked. I'm just glad to see Detroit Pistons do something. I'm like, turn over a chair, kick over a table, something. You know, I mean, what's going on around here? Get involved. All these deals being made, y'all need to revamp everybody at every position on that field. Field, I mean court. Everybody can go. Fire sale. Sell for ish. Keep ish and just start rebuilding. Codwell, I never saw any dope that I didn't like Pope. He can go. He had to go. Reggie Jackson should have been gone. But I know people don't want to pay Reggie Jackson's contract. Like, nobody wants that. So, they're like, y'all made the bed with Reggie Jackson. Y'all going to have to just keep it. So, the trade for, for Morris, who I hated to see go. Morris can play. That makes Boston more dangerous than ever now. Boston is dangerous now. Because Morris can score. He's somebody that can put up points, and he you just can't rely on Morris for the entire game. But for the first two quarters or three quarters, Morris will light it up out there. And he's the player you need in that position. Now they have they have uh, cap space to sign Hayward. So once the Hayward deal was done, I mean, that was a no-brainer. Who didn't see him coming to Boston? When I told them, when I did the video, where would he go? I'm just, the title's being optimistic. We all knew he was going to Boston. I mean, that's his old coach. Duh. He wants to go play with his old coach, and he's playing for the Boston Celtics. He's back in civilization. He's not stuck in Mormon land. In the summer, he leaves and go to his house that's in San Francisco, California. He's not going to stay in Utah. Utah wasn't his place to want to be in, you know. Hey, he had a lot of fun there, but no. Uh -uh. He'd rather be out and go to Boston where they have a chance to go to the NBA Finals. Now, next year NBA Finals is almost being written. And it doesn't look like the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be in that picture. And I'm okay with that. Because Boston know where they lack at and what they can do. And with the salary cap space they have, they want to try to make these moves as, pat as fast as possible. And by them messing up with the, what was that, the Josh Jackson deal? And they thought Josh Jackson would be more of an impact player than, the, than Tatum. But Tatum, he could play. And, you know, I'm not saying he's Jackson, but Tatum is just as good. I think he's going to fit in really well at, with uh, Boston. He's got a lot of confidence in him. And I see that a lot of these uh, players have figured out in watching the games that LeBron is slowing down. In a whole game and playing all this time, he needs to help. He needs a break. He needs some rest. Now, do they go back into the season in love thinking they could bang with this Boston team now? I'm just glad to see them finally make a move. So what does Bradley do for Detroit? Well, <laughs> Bradley's been dumped in from a winning team to a, and he was the player that has been there the longest. He's 26 years old, and he was the only player that has been on that team the longest. He was the last player from Doc Rivers' team. And now he's with a team... His veteran leadership on that Boston team, they're going to miss that, but they need consistency over there from that two-guard spot and that Hayward would provide. Defensively, you lose a lot. But offensively, he helps out tremendously. And for Detroit, you know, Detroit got so many pieces that got to go. 
that I hope this is just the beginning. So we can't even really make a decision on Detroit. We don't know who's going to play, what what's happening with them. It's just a mess. So we'll see how they do after they sort everything out. But Boston is looking very formidable right now. I'm out.